All right, you saw the challenge on the screen. I don't need to repeat it. It's solo challenge. Madden Ultimate Team, go earn your keep. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Over the middle here to Brown. It's a pickup of 14 there. And the Eagles are going to have a first down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. On the right side, caught by Green. And he's brought down after a good gain. A really nice gain of 25 yards. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Caught left side, Hopkins. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Hopkins, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where would you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Now this Broncos offensive unit ready to head back out onto the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, though. to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. If <laughs> you love pressure, we'll see, I love it. we'll see if they dial it up this drive. Muhammad Wilkerson elevated a Temple program that was looking for players like him, and he's carried that on into the NFL. What a terrific play there. Yeah, a nice tackle for loss for the former Temple Al, as you said, and the 30th pick in the 2011 draft. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one, maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. And the Eagles will go with an extra DB here as they prepare for a stop on third. Thinking pass all the way. Now Simeon. The catch is made. Benny Fowler. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Back now at the home of the champs, Sports Authority Field in Denver. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Play fake here on first down. Now he's got it complete to Fowler. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Yeah, let me pump out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. 
Another tote here for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Anderson. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. So here we go now. An extra defensive back in there on third and ten. Simeon. And he's going to be taken down here. Back across midfield. Three yards away from midfield at the 47. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. Here's Britton Colquitt now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. They go play action here on first down. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver, and it's second down. And at this stage in the game, every play is magnified here as we get down to the nitty-gritty. I think that's a big-time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. So it's Eagle football here as we get your reset. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle. And the extra effort moves the sticks. And now they're in the hurry up. Wilson to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Larry Fitzgerald was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Now Wilson. Surveying the field. It got his man complete. And he's brought down after a good game. He got 29 yards that time. And we continue to see another example here of offenses just going for it. And this game has really turned into a receiver's dream and a defender's nightmare because no one's being stopped throwing the ball downfield and points are going on the board. And he'll take, and now the Broncos will burn another timeout here. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Green, the tight end, in motion. They'll go again to McCoy. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. A couple of Broncos there in on the tackle. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They come out here in the eye. Uh... 
They'll try and run for it with McCoy. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Now a first down carry here for McCoy. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. 14, 14, 14. On second down, it's McCoy. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. On third down, here's McCoy. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So now it'll all come down to Robbie Gold. Two seconds on the clock. This for the win. And this is good. Robbie Gold knocks it through and, a and that does it for this Madden Ultimate Team solo challenge you did it you did